Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you my nine tips on how to simplify your life at home. I hope you will find these tips helpful. And I'd like to thank my sponsors of this video, Regions Bank, member FDIC. So let's get started. Okay, friends, tip number one is give yourself a soft wake. And what I mean by that is, one, I have never been a fan of an alarm clock because you're sleeping and then you're awakened by this loud sound. It is a stressful way to start your day. So what this is that I have is a soft wake alarm clock. And what it does is it uses light simulation to create the sun rising and it wakes you up softly by increasing the light slowly just as the sun is rising. Great if you have early days and you don't even, you know, see sunlight before you leave the house, but it really is a more calming, relaxing way to wake up. My next tip is bedside also, and it's about having a brain dump notebook. If you're anything like me, when I get in the bed, that's when my mind starts racing, thinking about my to-do list for the next day, what I forgot to do. So what I do is I process it. I get it from my brain and I just jot it down into this notebook. And that way I don't have to think about it anymore because I know I have done something with that information and I know that I can handle it the next day. It's not sitting on my brain. It's been such a great way to kind of process those things that keep me up at night. Tip number three is to minimize your obstacles. A lot of times we're having to go through a lot of our things to just get ready for the day. So what I like to do is simplify and only touch the things that I need to get ready. For example, I know I can only wear one lipstick, one eyeliner, one mascara every day. And so instead of having all of my makeup together, I separate one of each in one little bag and that's what I use in the morning. I'm not having to look at all of my makeup, then encouraging me to have to make decisions and I'm having to go through my things. Everything is set, I have one of each and it's my go-to, I can easily come here. I know that everything I touch in this bag is going on my face and I'm not having to kind of go through all of my makeup and figure things out. Also with your jewelry, by separating it into the different colors and tones, such as all gold jewelry together, all silver jewelry together, it can really simplify the process of getting ready in the morning because again, you're not having to kind of go through all of your things to get to the piece that you want. You know, when you get ready, you know if you want a piece of gold for that day, it's easy because everything is right there together and you're not having to look at all your gold and silver jewelry to kind of fiddle through what you want. The same with your clothes. By hanging your clothes by color, it really makes the process of getting dressed simplified in the morning because you grab your white pants you go over to your black shirts you can easily match clothes up because they're divided by color and you're not having to go through all your clothes to find what you want so tip number four is about meal planning this is one of those things that is stressful for families each week you come home from work and then the family's like well what's for dinner and you have no clue one thing you can do to simplify that is order your groceries online so many grocery stores do that now and it allows you to do it on your own time from home. You don't have to fight the grocery stores. You don't have to lug the groceries in. It really makes things simplified. And the great thing about it is you can do it ahead of time so that when you have time, you can plan out your groceries several weeks ahead of time and schedule the delivery. Another tip that my friend Jen from How Jen Does It taught me was to create a family meal list, a list of all those meal combinations. That way it's just plug and play when you're planning out your menus. Okay friends, tip number five is the forget-me-not basket. By hanging a small basket on your door, it's a great way not to forget those things that you need as you're leaving the house, such as your lunch. You can put a post-it note saying, don't forget lunch. You can drop your keys in here, permission slips that your kids need signed. Everything that you need before you walk out the door can be right here so that you easily don't even have to think about it. You won't forget it because as you go to open the door, you got it right there. Now let's move into tip number six, the stair bin. This has been huge in my house because one thing that is frustrating for me is having to run up and down the stairs every time I need something or when I need to take things up or things are downstairs that belong upstairs or your groceries come in, you got shampoo that has to go upstairs. So I have a little basket by the stairs that we drop everything that needs to go upstairs. And then we only take the basket upstairs when we're naturally going up there and we're planning to go up there. It is great. Tip number seven, friends, is huge, and it's about sinking funds. And I talk about this in my home planner because it is important to have funds in place for all those things that come up, such as the holidays and vacation and birthdays and the car, you know, unexpected expenses and medical unexpected expenses. And these are things that really can impact your budget in a negative way if you're not prepared. 
And this is why I am also a huge fan of Regents Bank because they, like me, are on the same page and they are looking out for me. And when I go to their website, they have so many resources to help me with creating these sinking funds and managing my budget and helping me along the way of having a simplified way of handling finances. And they have so many worksheets and tools that are so fun, actually, when you jump in from a financial wellness assessment, they have a daily spending tracker, they have things even for the kids, you know, a piggy bank quiz and, and resources that they can use to help them learn and to really make smart decisions young about money. And I know I have said this before, but one thing that really has me connected to Regions is how they simplify things. I love that it's easy to get to what I need and they have no stone uncovered here. It really is great. One thing that I thought was fun is they have this um, how to become a millionaire and it lets you kind of plug in numbers and see what you need to do or what you should be doing. I also love their saving challenges, which I also have this in my book where you can have challenges this is fun for the family to do for your kids to do for you and your spouse to do and you can kind of check off each week as you put that amount of money aside they have different challenges but really i love the way that they think about money and not only that they make it something that is just kind of mundane but they have really fun tools and resources uh, for the family and for individuals when it comes to managing your finances so friends, having those sinking funds in place can really help things go smoothly throughout your year. Also, using the saving plans to help you. Regions has an easy, simplified way of opening accounts right online. And I love that they give back. So definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description box below. My next tip is on home automation. I am a big believer in it. It's not about being lazy, it's about being efficient. I love, we call ours Robo here. But when we go to bed, he comes and he sweeps up the house. And it is wonderful because when I wake up, that's one thing that I don't have to think about doing. Okay friends, tip number nine is to create an active file for all of your mail. You know, mail comes in all of the time and it either goes on the counter, the entryway, you know, and it piles up. And that's a problem in a lot of homes. So what you need is an active file. That way when mail comes in, it doesn't leave your hand until it drops where it goes. It may be a bowl on the counter, it may be a basket on the entryway table, whatever is convenient is where that needs to be. That's not a problem for a lot of homes. The problem is the paper clutter just grows because no one ever addresses it timely. So what you have to do is you have to incorporate that part of it. So what you need to do is on Fridays at three o'clock, that is 15 minutes every week that you use to work your active file. What I tell myself is I can't go into my weekend until I work my active file. I take that 10 minutes, I go through all the mail, I open it up, file it away, pay the bill, whatever it is I need to do, and I'm done with it for the week. And by incorporating this, just as you incorporate picking up your kids every day from school, or you incorporate brushing your teeth, every Friday at a certain time, have that set time that you work through the mail for the week, and you will find that paper does not overtake your home. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed the tips that I have shared with you today and have found them helpful. I will put the information to Regents Bank below if you want to learn more. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.